can't even believe what's happening right now. I'm not even home. I'm still pinching myself. I was cast as Elle Woods. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. Did we like that? Was that too corny? Oh my vlog, you guys. We're gonna run with it for now because rehearsals have already started. Ah! I am deeply in rehearsals. This process has been so quickly from audition to callback to rehearsal beginning. They had to push like their callback dates to another date because they needed to extend their audition. So like we've been a little bit delayed already in the process. So from finding out that I got the role of Elle Woods to rehearsal, it was like less than 48 hours. It was such a quick turnaround that it was like, it's just been such a whirlwind, but so good. Like, oh my gosh, my cup is so filled and I'm just so blessed and grateful and trying to be as present as I can because I'm just so happy to be here. And every single day going to rehearsal, I'm treating it as like, you get to enjoy what you have like always worked for. This is why we go and wait in those lines to audition. This is why we fight at those callbacks. So we can then get the opportunity to be in a show. And then when you get there, it's like, now take it all in and It goes by so quickly. Today was an amazing first day. Showed up, checked in, got some of my measurements done. Today we just did a read through, which also included the singing. So we would be like, oh my God, oh my God, you guys. This is a step before you learn the music. You are actually speaking through the words and feeling what we're actually saying and hearing for the first time what they're saying and like really hearing them. Even though we were spread out in a circle and like trying to read through like that, I was really trying to like listen to them. What the inflection and the emotions behind that, even if they don't choose to do those acting choices at the time. It's just so great to hear everyone, see everyone, and I just feel so lucky to be a part of this show and it's gonna be so great and I couldn't be any more thankful and I'm just gonna keep trying to be present and record what I can to bring you guys along and to have the ability to look back on it as my like legally blonde video diaries like this is gonna really show my journey of getting ready to become Elle Woods and I need to get back whipped into shape so please make sure you are subscribed at this time. You are gonna see so much. I could talk about it forever, but I have got to go eat. I've got to get out of my pantyhose. It's 9.48 right now. I'm gonna go eat. Bye. Why am I whispering? That's gonna damage my voice. Day, what day is this? Three, day three. Is he What day is it? Thursday it is day number four of Legally Blonde rehearsals. And I'm having the absolute time of my life. And I'm trying to edit my vlog to get the wicked up so I can announce next week Legally Blonde because I've been sitting on this news been wanting to tell you so wanting to announce it like as soon as it happened. But I like I have to edit and get it out, you know? It's about to be 1 a.m., but tomorrow is Friday and it's my day off, so I'm really, really happy to be able to sleep in tomorrow morning. So I'm being like, okay, you can stay up really late editing because tomorrow you have it off. And by off, I mean other type of work. So it's fine because we love it and I genuinely love, love, going to rehearsal, shooting rehearsal, editing it. Like, I'm so excited. Again, I'm like bumping Sabrina Carpenter at 1 a.m. to keep myself awake, literally. It's a little crazy right here in the morning. I'm getting ready to leave. It is still the first week of Legally Blonde rehearsals and it is my first weekend rehearsal today. I'm going to be doing some vocals with the musical director today going from like the top of show to the end with all my vocal stuff and then we're going to be hosting some dog auditions and additionally we have a dog trainer who used to perform at the Universal Studios Animal Trick Show. So cool to see these dogs and meet all the cute little pups and then see this amazing trainer work with them and see if they can like get some like good stuff out of them. So today is going to be so fun so I wanted to say a quick hello before I get there look at the dress I have to return this to newly like literally yesterday but I wanted to hold on to it for the dog auditions today we'll be returning after today
we all study and slog to help the underdog to audition in the ultimate Broadway boot camp. They can all act, they can all dance, and they can all sing. Only two dogs. Broadway dream will become a reality. I am now in week two, and yes, I'm in my PJs, but I just showered and got into my PJs. I'm not still in my PJs. I'm gonna be leaving for rehearsal in about 30 minutes. Week two, and we are doing a Legally Blonde Spirit Week. That just shows you how involved this whole, like, team is like we want to do meetups we want to go karaoke we want to go see the movie together we're doing spirit week and this is just why i love the theater and the community like i miss it so much this is so much where i find my community and my friends spending so much time with these people at rehearsal and then having the opportunity to getting to know them even more like outside of it is just such a blessing and i love this community and Oh, I'm so happy to be here. So it has just been brought to my attention that I would have been the only one at rehearsal wearing pajamas today because I am a little bit early to spirit week. It's not till like a couple more weeks. They were just like sending out the flyer now. So I almost just showed up to rehearsal in my pizza jammies today and I would have been the only one. Oh my, it kind of gives that Elle Woods moment in the musical slash movie when she is like told to wear something and she shows up in something. Oh my gosh, that is so not the dress code. Oh my God. I did in fact change. I'm not doing my pizza food top, so I'm doing my other one, wearing a cute little watermelon instead. I'll save my pajamas for later. I am heating up a creamy whole grain mustard pork chop with braised cabbage and brown butter carrots. I've never had this one before, but that sounds so good. And it smells, oh, these buttered carrots are calling my name. This is my rehearsal lunch pail. Stick it in there. I pack a fork my paper towel, and sometimes I'll pack it with a little drink, but I, I am so dehydrated and I need to like, drink a lot of water, so I'm gonna be drinking water with dinner tonight. <laughs> All right, she's ready for rehearsal. The script is here! Still week two, day two. About to leave for rehearsal, but the UPS guy just dropped off my script, and so I thought I would do a quick little unboxing before I go. I literally have two minutes to do this. Look! Look at that! Ah, it literally says legally blonde! Ah! so excited. Oh, should I get the scissors? And this is perfect because now I can directly write in this script. Today we are going to do some blocking. With the libretto, I can't write in that because I have to turn it in at the end of the show, but I wanted to print off a physical one. Oh my gosh, so I can write in it and have it. Oh my gosh, you got me. Look, look at that. Oh my gosh. And with like the clear thing right here. Cute. Oh my gosh. So today I can take this and write in it. Oh my gosh. We did a little bit of blocking last week and I just took like my notebook and I was writing just the page number, my entrances and all the stuff that I needed to write down. But now I don't have to do that. And I'll probably be returning in the libretto because to hold on to that and not like return that properly, that would the people to the rights of Legally Blonde would come and take me hostage. Um, might be worth it though, that libretto is so cute. Um, but now I have my own script that I can write in and highlight and doodle in and take it and break it in today. We are gonna be blocking so much better, which is the end of act one with L's big number. So I'm really excited to see what we are doing today. And it is time for me to leave. Okay, rehearsal time. Good morning, you guys. It is week three of Legally Blonde rehearsals. And well, I'm in between like three and four. First big weekend rehearsal. I haven't been called for a weekend set yet. And this is my first Saturday for six hours today, which I am really, really excited. We are now diving into choreography. And oh boy, I am buckling up. I have been having my electrolytes, so much water, stretching, <sighs> trying to mentally and physically prepare for this because it's been blocking and I believe we finished we we are done with blocking at this point now other than like putting the little pieces together we have done the scenes and blocked them as they need to be and now it is time to learn the big dance numbers and Legally Blonde if you don't know the show is a big dance heavy show like we are doing a lot of dancing and a lot of singing so so pray for us our legs our stamina our soul and for me I I feel so out of practice and so out of it that I'm like just like <laughs> we'll see how today goes like I just am hoping that I don't accidentally hurt myself because I feel like this is when the injuries happen when you're not properly stretched or warmed up or just like 
walking around or dancing around like a little deer and I'm just worried about my ankles because last time I did dance really hard I did hurt my ankle I was at a dance call for a chorus line which if you know a chorus line that is like a five six seven eight that is a really really that is like the dance show so I don't know what I was doing there also at that callbacks um, after COVID attempting to do that but I was and I was there and I tried but did roll my ankle and was like wheeling myself around for a couple of days. So I'm going to try to do everything in my power to not hurt myself today. And I think I'm going to take my character heels just in case if the choreographer is like, let's try to do this number with some heels. But I think I'm gonna go in trying to learn it with my sneakers. And then once I like know where my feet belong, I can then throw on the character heels to start getting that practice of like doing it in heels. Because of course, Elle Woods is gonna be doing it in heels. So I will be in heels this entire show and I just need to get comfortable with wearing those boots and also oh my gosh there's just like so much going on and everything happens so quickly so I got to see some of my costumes and oh my gosh not only did I get to see some of my costumes but I also got to see my wig I got the wig preview and I got to try it on and it looks so cute like guys will be able to get to see it when I shoot my promo shoot because I will be wearing the wig for the promo shoot so once I finally get to wear that baby and like have her on there I'll try to get some clips of her so I can show you because she is so cute last time I believe I was like more platinum blonde and this one they're really trying to like keep my dark roots um yeah and as, as I'm speaking right now I can like hear that my voice is quite tired it is early in the morning but also my voice is tired we've been blocking we've been singing after we're done blocking it so I'm consistently singing legally blonde every single day and my voice is just not used to it so this is a lot of stuff that my body my literal instrument like my body itself is like whoa what are we doing like I'm tired like what's going on and like keep training it and get it prepared for that show date being like this is the stamina this is the kind of moving we gotta be doing baby I'm applying the mascara primer right now I've really struggled with finding a mascara that doesn't transfer to my under eye I always end up looking like a raccoon like I don't even think I have to break a sweat like no matter what my mascara will just run down here and some people have told me maybe it's like your eye oil around it and so like I my I just can't handle mascara like I've, I've tried waterproof I've tried so many different things and I finally got this recommendation by Ms. Jaden recommended to try tubing mascara so that's what I'm trying to do here she also recommended the primer so I do what she tells me that is my alarm this is what I temporarily have been using for rehearsal. I'm definitely going to be switching to getting my lashes done and like going to my lash lady Luna like when we're getting closer to tech week. I know it's just going to be too much of a hassle to try to keep up with these lashes. But for those of you who are struggling with mascara getting everywhere and having like what this bottle call says panda eyes, try out Bye Bye Panda. This is by Essence and I also, oh this is also by Essence. I'm so new here, just now trying these products, but I can absolutely confirm that this does not transfer to my under eye and I love it. Please ignore my little red bump right here. I'm not sure if it's a sty because it's not close enough like to my eye. It's like there, it's just like been a little red bump, but it's like starting to slowly go away. So I'm like not trying to mess with it, but I, I'm not sure if it's a sty or like just a zit. A little bit painful two days ago, but it's been going down. So nothing to worry about. Oh my goodness, you guys. I am so, so like, I'm just... I'm just so excited but like nervy for today like it today is a big dance rehearsal and it's just I know where I stand and I know my talents and I know I am a dancer last so I have to put extra effort and always study extra hard once I learn it today I'm going to be running this every single day these dances because I know it takes me just a little bit longer to learn those steps and so I just got to be like okay we're just showing up today gonna try our best and learn as much as we can if not everyone is so supportive and helpful it will be fine it will be just fine today I believe we are going to be choreographing what you want which is a big 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 number this has to be so extravagant and elaborate this dance has to get Elle Woods into Harvard so yeah you could say we will be dancing our butts off I did a little look in the mirror and realized look at me I'm not wearing any pink at all in the outfit so I got out some pink socks that I have to add the dash of pink showing up to a legally blonde rehearsal without a hint of pink honestly feels should be illegal you know? I just opened the fridge and remembered that Ryan stopped by Subway yesterday to pick up an extra sandwich for me for rehearsal. So I don't have to make my sandwich today. Oh my gosh. Not sponsored by Subway, but sponsored by my boyfriend. Bless you. Thank you for picking this up. He's not here right now. He already left for a hike, but 
You are a good man, and thank you. I can't wait to throw this into my lunchbox and just add some water and some snacks. Blessings above, blessings above. I think I'm gonna pack this one as my spare. I'm gonna put this one in my lunch pail, and then I'm also gonna take a separate one. I know it might seem a little dramatic taking two water bottles, but I would rather have more water, more iced, iced cold water than like realizing I have to find a fountain or something like that. So this one's gonna be tossed in the lunch pail, and this one's gonna show up with me, and I'll probably, hopefully, kill this by three o'clock, which is when our lunch is, and then I'll start using this one for the rest of the day. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, is this even enough? Should I pack one more? Adding a soft and chewy Kirkland brand granola bar, cranberry health mix. These are by Ryan's mom, bless you. I'll go squeezies, which I take myself to rehearsal every single day. These are my lifeline, I love squeezies. I'm always looking for more snacks to try and add to my cart and I'm always taking so many to rehearsal. So please comment below and let me know your favorite snacks as much as I would love to just like pack my lunchbox full of like gushers and gogurts and fruit roll ups. I don't know if that would be as nourishing for me, but I mean. So drink it up. This is not a personal essay, no.